So it's Sunday, and Esther and Day have Raven and Riley Grace with them. And they just left the Buller brothers, where they had a pretty good meal. Some fantastic German lunch meats and cheeses. Sandwiches. <clears throat> but Esther had been promised by her uncle, Hung, that he would show her some operations in the kitchen and some cooking lessons. And she was very excited about that. So the girls jumped in the Escalade, drove to Uncle Hung's uh, restaurant, the Chauten Ch Cuisine, and for the first time, Uncle Hung was introduced to Raven and Riley Grace, and he welcomed them with uh, a lot of love. Uh, Esther had told him that they were very special and they're extremely good friends. And he could see that the four of them were a, a close-knit little group. So he he said to Raven and Riley Grace that they would always be welcome and that they should call him uncle too as well. Shocking <laughs> Esther to some extent, but Uncle Hung was extremely pleased with Esther and he knew that Esther's judgment was really good in people that these were special girls and he wanted to keep them in uh, his life too so he made that gesture and then he suggested to his daughter uh, Wei who worked in the restaurant every day as receptionist seating people, um, he suggested to his daughter that she show Raven and, and Day and Riley Grace how to perform her responsibilities and duties. Well, he showed Esther the operations in the kitchen. And they were excited. They were very receptive to that. And Uncle Hung had said, you know, maybe someday you'll want to come work here with me. And you never will have to, but if you choose to, uh, you know a lot about our operations. And they were excited and they accepted that. And his daughter thought it a very good idea. So <clears throat> Esther went into the kitchen with Uncle Hung and Wei explained that uh, how to set the table properly and that they should always do it the same way because it gave repeating customers a sense of comfort when they came in and found the table to be consistently attractive and place settings repeatedly in the same position and, and uh, attractiveness. And we explain everything, how they accept uh, different bank cards. 80% of all 
the intake was usually a credit card of some type. And she showed him how to ring up credit cards. And she showed him the bookings and how to work in walk-in customers if they had room. And she took him to the back and explained uh, some other processes that they used in helping prepare for the evening. And eventually in about an hour and a half, uh, they came out front. Esther and Mr. Hung came out and we told her father that all three girls she was certain had learned everything completely that they were all very special girls and she was confident that any one of them could step into her job and do it and Mr. Hung said we should uh, give you a night off since you have never had a day off. And perhaps one of the girls would like to work tonight. And Esther spoke up and says, Riley Grace, why don't you stay tonight and work? And Riley was thrilled. Esther took her in the back room and Esther had prepared for something like this. In the back room were a number of dresses and shoes, all prepared in advance. And well, Riley Grace changed clothing and put on a new appropriate silk Asian looking dress and some high heel shoes. Esther said, and we also have flats here in case your feet start to hurt, he can put on flats. Uh, and while she was doing this, Way braided Riley Grace's hair into a, a beautiful braid that looked very, very attractive and made her look older too. They put a little red lipstick on her and in many ways, Riley Grace looked older now and in some ways oriental. Not that she would be mistaken for being Chinese because she had blonde hair and she was fairly pale, but she did have a demeanor that was oriental and her clothing certainly was. So the, Esther told her that they would be back at midnight to pick her up and that she should enjoy herself and Esther then invited Wei to go with him. Wei was excited, looked at her dad and he said, it's your night off, go and have some fun. Wei was probably in her mid-twenties. So Esther and Wei and Day and Raven, they decided to go to the uh, Carson Warehouse and explain to Wei some of the defensive uh, moves that all the girls had learned. And Wei was very excited because she knew from conversations that she had heard that Esther was extremely talented in martial arts, in many martial arts. And so that's where they went. Riley Grace got straight to work, finished setting up some of the tables, looked at the uh, reservation booklet, uh, 
prepared uh, herself and the front and people started coming in and she did very well. She even used her Spanish to uh, work with some people and advise them on the menu. And at about eight o'clock, a uh, security team, two men came in and that was to pick up the night's uh, money that they had pulled in. And Riley Grace was uh, suspicious of them because they were a little early. She had been told that this uh, secu security showed up at 8. These people were there at a quarter of 8. Uh, they didn't quite look professional. And she had gone to the front window, glanced out, and their security van didn't quite look up to par either. So she smiled at the two men who happened to be Chinese and she gave them the night's uh, cash bags, three of them. She had actually also put her phone in one of the pockets of a bag and the bags had uh, padlocks on them. Uh, she signed a form to release him to him, and they left. And then Esther went into the back room and called, or not Esther, Riley Grace went into the back room and called Esther right away and said that she had just given the false evening uh, cash receipts to two men who pretended to be uh, the financial pickup police from, from security. Uh, and that she said to Esther, by the way, they're Chinese. And she had put her phone, her personal phone, in one of the bags. And Esther said to Riley Grace, you did very well. Thank you for calling and telling me this. We'll see you at midnight. And so Esther said to her other three friends, her sister and two friends, um, Riley Grace had just outfoxed two men who pretended to be the security for the cash pickup in the evening and gave them the fake bags of money. And so she said, let's go find him. Day was excited because she knew there's going to be a little action tonight. And Raven and Way both were anticipating something happening too. So they had the Escalade. John, Esther's friend, uh, had updated the cars internal GPS and Esther spoke to it. They had an artificial intelligence in it and Esther told him to find Riley Grace and a computerized voice came on the radio and told him where her phone was 
and gave him directions. Right, uh, Esther was a little surprised because they were only about 15 minutes away from where they were at the moment. But the van had pulled over on the side of the road and it appeared that they had all gotten out and were in the back of the van. And so Esther told the girls, give me three minutes and then come on over. So Esther got out, went up to the van, pounded on the van, said, hey, are you having trouble? Do you need help? Do you want me to call the police for you? Well, somebody opened the van slightly and Esther jumped in. So after about three minutes, they said that ought to be enough time. And she and Way and Raven, they got out of the car and went up to the van and looked inside. Esther had four men on their knees with their hands over their head. And they, they were not moving. They were doing everything Esther told them to. So Esther, while looking at the men, explained who they were, gave their names. She had already interrogated them and explained to the girls that these four were desperate. Two of them didn't have jobs. One of them had a job that paid very little. And the other one had a family that he wasn't able to keep up with financial responsibilities. And so he said, we're trying to decide what we should do with them because they don't look like hardened criminals to me. And when they entered the restaurant, the guns they had holstered were only plastic toy guns. So there wasn't a real threat to anybody other than themselves. So Wei spoke up and since it was her father's restaurant, she said to Esther that she believed Esther was wise enough to deal with these four properly. So Esther looked at him and said, you've taken a wrong turn in life. And I'm going to give you a chance to turn yourselves around and correct your lives so that you don't end up in prison. And she says, I have a job opportunity for each of you. I want you to go to Carson's warehouse tomorrow. And find a Mr. Chen. He'll put you to work there. We're going to open up a farmer's market. And farmers will be bringing in produce and he'll need help unloading it and setting it up. It works going to be hard, but pay will be good. So one of the four men said, why are you, why are you doing this for us? She said, well, first of all, you four don't look like hardened criminals. Perhaps you just need a break. She said, and you're Chinese and so am I. One of them says, you certainly don't look Chinese. And Esther responded to him in Chinese that, well, they didn't look American, but yet here they are in the United States. And that kind of amazed him that Esther is speaking such fluent Chinese. 
And so Esther went on to say, My name's Esther Saint. We'll meet again. But you, uh, you're lucky in that I need four men and I do the hiring. But Mr. Chen will be your boss. And you need to follow orders from him. Are the four of you interested in this opportunity? They looked at each other and they said, nodded, and they all agreed. So Esther said, put your arms down. She went over to the money bags, asked uh, Wei if she had a key to the lock on them, and she did. So Wei tossed Esther a bunch of keys that she had on her. Esther looked at it, picked out the exact key that would fit the padlock, opened up the bag and pulled out a stack of cut paper and tossed it to one of the men and said, the girl at the restaurant, you should be thanking her next time you see her because she called me and not the police. And she picked up on who you were and gave you the false bags full of paper. And the man looked at the paper and was amazed. Esther said, show up tomorrow at five o'clock for your new jobs. You'll be tested in three months for drugs. You're not allowed to have drugs. If you fail your test, you're on probation. If you fail it twice, you're fired. Then Esther turned around and said to the girls, let's go bowling. And everybody got excited. They said to Wei, have you ever been bowling? And we said, no, is it hard? And of course, they said, well, no, it's not hard. It's hard to be good, perhaps, but it's fun, a lot of fun. So they went bowling from that point. They enjoyed their evening. They went back to the Sha Ten cuisine restaurant at midnight found Riley Grace it had been a very busy evening Mr. Hung came up said that he believed this was one of the busiest Sundays ever and that Riley Grace had done very well had handled some of the customers that he found difficult to handle and Everything went very smoothly. And he thanked them all and said, you're all invited back anytime. So Wei stayed, stayed with her dad. Uh, Esther and Day, they took Riley Grace and Raven home. And then Esther dropped day off at her dad's home. She wanted to spend the night with her dad. And Esther went home and started getting ready for the evening.